They're a hip hop couple, calm it down, uh, that shared their lives on Run's house. And today they're going to share the secrets to their happy life and their happy marriage with their new book, Old School Love and Why It Works. What How to put the spark back into a 40 plus year marriage. 40 Whoa. plus 40 years! years. We got oh, she's waving at you. That. <laughs> and this is Suzanne Anderson. Where oh, are hi, you? Hi, Suzanne. Please, let's go. Congratulations, yes. by the way. 40 yes. years Thank is a you. long time. Yes. Thank Woo. you. Good job. Yeah. She wants to know how to put the spark. So let me ask a question. Um, so you guys have been together for 40 years. 40, um, it'll be 45 years next month. 45? Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. That's so, so are you guys, are you, you guys, guys still date? working? No, we both retired a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. So, so what's the issue? Tell me what, what, what are you feeling? What is the, um, the disconnect? We're not having as much fun as right. we used to have. Okay. Um, and I'd like to put a little bit of more romanticism back in the okay. marriage as well. Yeah. What fun things can we really do to spark that oh, thing first again? First, get some lingerie. No, <laughs> Dad, say what you got to say. Okay. All right. You know, because 40 years, he might be like, he hasn't probably seen lingerie. But get some... <laughs> Really sexy lingerie that you would probably have not worn to your something first different. Met. Just something really crazy. How is your lingerie, by the way? It could, it could see some improvement. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we, we went and got someone to, on Christmas. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I worked on that, didn't I? I did. She was in there to get one thing, and I took it to the other section. Is that true? Uh huh. This is. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> what was your back? Only because usually, you know, you go and get it. Homeboy was like on my back, and he was like that one right there, that one. <laughs> I, I, I was like, there was no material, man. I'm like, Dude. I think Whatever. that was the point, darling. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. She hasn't anyway. worn it yet, though. Okay. Hey. <laughs> no, I think I about think it. You're Thank you. Well, listen. As far as dating I'm goes, so freaking mad right, right let me let me let me help him out. <laughs> as far as dating goes, it doesn't have to. For us, it's as small as Bed Bath and Beyond, all the way to a drive up to Philadelphia or Boston or somewhere and just stay at a little hotel. Or if you got a little extra bread put aside from your retirement, take a little trip to Hawaii or something. Oh. So moving around. Yeah. And, a sense and, of adventure. I love yeah, that. Right. Yeah. If he likes the golf, you go where there's a golf course. Or if you like certain type of stores, you go to a little, the little shops. You know, not the, it doesn't have to be expensive. Like mm -hmm. I said, it could be as big as Hawaii and small as Bed Bath & Beyond. It's just about being together. I mean, there's always a men's section in these stores where we just kind of, like, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> like... I'm That's serious. True. Like I'll, I'll take her to like whether, whatever store it is, he and I'll be the sitting couch. there, right? And there'll be another man sitting there, like you in the same couch as me. So yeah, man. <laughs> there they go. We just sit and we watch. Maybe little Applebee's when it's over no. or something. No, let me. Yeah. <laughs> but and you might want to try different places to have oh, wait, sex. Wait, wait, have so, sex. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can say sex. <laughs> 